Hey everyone, I am Jess with Drifter Journey and today I wanted to share with you the BioLite Solar Home 620 Plus Kit. Uh, they did send this to us to try out, which I'm pretty excited actually because it's intended for um, like an off-grid shed or building some kind of structure that doesn't have power to it and at some point on our property I plan to have a garden shed in a shipping container and there will not be utilities running to it so uh, this BioLite system will be perfect for that because it is completely run off of solar and so I'm just gonna get into what the kit includes really quick and then I'm gonna do a little mock setup here in our camper and show you how it might work. So before we get into that, be sure to like this video, comment and let me know what you think about the kit and subscribe to the channel. So first things first, what comes in the BioLite 620 Plus Solar Home Kit? So you have a small six watt solar panel which i already have sitting outside collecting sun you have the control uh, unit which uh, basically has an am fm radio it's got a bunch of different features on it to control the system uh, to let you know what's charging and how much charge it has and we'll go through some of those controls when i show you how it's all hooked up uh, it comes with one motion sensor light and that has its own switch and then it has two additional lights with their own switches. It does come with a USB cable charger. So uh, you can plug this into the control unit and then charge your multiple different uh, items. It looks like it's got a micro USB and a couple other odds and ends there. Um, it does come with mounting hardware, including some nails, as well as 30 uh, cable clips but depending on your situation and how you're mounting this stuff, you may need to supplement. For example, um, I'm thinking about mounting this into a shipping container and I would probably need to use something like VHB tape or something to uh, hang this stuff up. So let's get into how it gets hooked up. So the most important piece of this whole unit is the control center um, and it has a really good display on the front and it has a light button so if you're working in a dark space and you need to turn that on in order to actually see the buttons that's kind of nice and it has three brightness levels um, you can turn the radio on and off so I'm not getting signal now but it's got this antenna wire that I could run outside and get a signal and then uh, we've got backward forward play volume controls and then we also have the home page controls so tells you um, on the left here if you're getting a charge and then from your solar panel and then on the right it shows uh, how charged the battery is if you want to know the exact battery level and then we're getting 100 percent sun so our solar panel is in a good spot the radio is off and then the help screen so in order to get this set up there are three ports on the back uh, and they're very clearly marked. Um, the one on the right is for your solar panel going in and then the two on the left are for your lights going out. So I have hooked up the motion sensor light to one um, up here and you can tell it's a motion sensor because it has that kind of thing in the middle. Um, it has its own switch and if you want to turn it on to motion sense, you just hit it and go through the cycle of its three brightness levels and then you can see the light on the switch here turned red and then if we stand out of the way uh, the motion sensor will not sense us anymore and it will turn off so the motion sensor light uh, took about 30 seconds to turn off and I'm gonna see how close I can get before it turns back on. Okay, um, so I would recommend that this one be like right at the entrance if that's important because it does appear that you have to be within about three to four feet for it to sense you. Um, I do have this kind of angled away so it's possible that 
it would have sensed me a little closer if it was facing me. Um, so that's that light. I'm going to turn that off. And then I have my second light port um, wire running to the back of the camper. So uh, the nice thing about this system is that these wires are super long and you could probably run it through a multi room structure as long as the rooms weren't too far away. So this wire is probably 10 feet long, eight, 10 feet long. Um, and it also has three brightness levels. And then in order to get the third light hooked up, you just plug it into this module that is connected to the switch and to the light. And I have my other light running across to this corner of the camper. And again, it has its three levels of brightness. Another nice thing about the solar home kit um, is that these wires give you a lot of room for flexibility in your setup. And um, I obviously have them all tied up in one spot, but let's say you wanted to have this light hanging in the center of a room and then run this switch over to the doorway there is plenty of length in this wire to do that uh, which is really nice that way you can have a switch and have like normal room lighting in a shed or a bunker or shipping container like i'm talking about um, and be able to turn on the light as you enter the room and then have it light up the whole space so what i love about this system is that it's super easy to set up um, you don't necessarily have to have a lot of infrastructure or places to hang things. Um, these are literally hanging off of command hooks in our RV and you can just string the wires however is convenient for you. And it's a great option for an off-grid structure or even just for an emergency lighting source. So if you do have a shed that already has lighting but you tend to lose power or you're worried about losing power, um, this would be a really great kit to set up to make sure that you always have some kind of light um, and radio set up in that structure. So that being said, um, let us know what questions you have in the comments and thanks for watching.